Are we ready to talk about this Redneck Riviera whiskey? A small batch whiskey with vanilla honey smoothness and a subtle oak finish. Guys, um, Eastside Distilling out of Portland, Oregon. They're responsible for the release and the creation of John Riches of Big and Rich, the country band music group. I don't really care for them. I only know the one song. Uh, what's it called? Uh, ride a horse, do a cowboy, or do a cowboy, ride a horse, whatever it is. Uh, but that's their song. I'm going to probably maybe play it somewhere as a quick cutaway. Anyway, Redneck Riviera refers to an old 1960s term of a place along the Gulf Coast that's similar to Margaritaville. However, I believe Margaritaville is a better song than John Rich and Big and Rich ever did. It's the best song, Margaritaville. Like, it's good. Can't go wrong with Margaritaville. Anyway, we're not here to talk about music. We're not here to talk about uh, Margaritaville or John Rich. We are here to talk about John Rich's whiskey. This is his blend of whiskey. Now, as far as I know, it just hit the shelves in California. Um, from what I understand, there's been a struggle, as like any spirit in the industry, of getting it to the masses. So guys, if John Rich of uh, the Apprentice fame can't get your whiskey on the can't get his whiskey on the shelves like that, then it's hard for anybody to get a whiskey on the shelf like that. But if Yellow Wolf can do it with Creek Water, then anybody can do it. So we're here to talk about Redneck Riviera. Um, he was doing a signing down at a local liquor store a couple months ago. I didn't, I didn't go down there. Uh, one, because I didn't know about it until last minute. And two, um, I just didn't have any interest in going, to be honest with you. Um, he wanted to create a whiskey that has, that gives you no whiskey mouth. If you don't know what whiskey mouth is, whiskey mouth is when you drink a whiskey and it burns going down. That's what whiskey mouth is. And that's what John Rich set out to not create. So, we're gonna take a sample of this Redneck Riviera Whiskey. Redneck Riviera Whiskey is 95% American light whiskey aged two years. 5% American whiskey aged at least one year. It is 40% alcohol by volume. 80 proof, about normal. It's about normal. Creek water here sits at about 100. Um, the legendaries, they sit at about 80. So this is about normal. I'm going to use my Satal sniffer glass and try it out and see what we got here. Pour a little pour. No big deal. It's good. Good, good, good. Good stuff, good stuff. Give a little swirly. A little swirly, swirly. Not like the swirly you used to get when you were a freshman in high school, but like a little swirly. Vanilla. Blasted in the face. I got blasted in the face with something. But vanilla and caramel are the first things that come to my mind. What is that last thing that I'm getting slapped in the face with? Honey. I am getting um, slapped in the face with honey. A lot of honey. Um, right off the bat, it doesn't smell like a whiskey that's going to burn to be honest with you. You know, that's a, lot, that's a thing about a lot of these celebrity spirits is they all claim to do something different, which is like, we taste better. We take the burn off. We take the edge off. We help your belt come off when you're trying to get lucky that night. Like every celebrity endorsed like spirit has a thing. So, um, right now that whiskey is not, does not smell, um, like it's gonna burn. So let's try it. A 
Vanilla up front on the taste. Right up front, the vanilla. Right up front. Right up front. Um, it is definitely full body. Like, it is... It's covering the tongue. It's massaging. It got out the electric blanket on the tongue. Like, it's there. It's like... I'm here. I'm here. Float down my wild Riviera River. I'm here. That's what it's on the tongue. Um, it's oaky... It's dark fruity. Like, there's some stone fruit in there. There's got to be. Um, I don't know if there's. it's in there, but there's a stone fruit uh, flavor in there. It's earthy. It's very, very um, earthy. I don't know what part of the earth it is, but it's earthy. Um, I'll be honest with you. There's really nothing special about this whiskey for me. Um, nothing. I would say, to be honest with you, um, I would say, just to be honest with you, that this whiskey is about as plain as this label. And that's my opinion. There's nothing complex about this. Uh, I'm not even sure if there's supposed to be anything complex about it, but there's not. This is just a, this is just a whiskey. I will say that this, I will say this, there is no burn going down. There's not that. No burn going down. It's nice going down. But to me, it's just a normal, plain whiskey. Um, I've had better whiskeys come from Rackhouse Whiskey Club than uh, this. So, anyway, Mr. John Rich, you've succeeded in the No Burn Whiskey. However, my opinion is, um, I've had better. You win some, you lose some. This one isn't for me. But there's somebody out there who'll drink it and who will love it. But that somebody is not me. Guys, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, thank you for commenting, sharing, doing everything that you do while I'm up here doing what I love to do. And that's me behind this bar. Talking to you and serving drinks and mixing drinks and having fun. That's what I do. Um, I'm going to get Brother Scotty on this and we're going to have fun with it. Talk to you next time. Bye.